it's John Salmon here. I'm a partner at Hogan Lovells, uh, based in London, and I'm the global head of our digital assets and blockchain practice. Um, been delighted to uh, chair the conference today, and I think key takeaway for me is definitely, I think the positive vibe around digital assets and where we can take digital assets with appropriate and proportionate regulation. It's always great to hear from colleagues around the world as to what they're seeing in their jurisdictions and hear from the institutions as to uh, the ideas they have on adoption. Um, it's great to be here, the room's full, um, there are more than 300 people online and we've had um, some amazing events including one I assisted in um, in Paris on, on Monday night bringing together clients and regulators across the globe. You've got regulators here, you've got industry leaders here, you've got lawyers here. Uh, and I really enjoy that mix and vibrant uh, atmosphere at, at those sorts of conferences. And it's also a really open debate um, on what's happening. The biggest benefit of bringing the community together in summits uh, like we're uh, having here today is getting the voice of the regulator, the voice of the industry, the voice of the blockchain community, the voice of the capitalist in one environment not just to discuss some of the pretty difficult issues that we're going to have to make our way through all together and collectively over the next six months to a year, but to really focus on the way forward and the opportunities and the positive side of the growth of digital assets, how they can impact the economy, how they can create better financial inclusion, and how they can deliver a better society, which is why most of us are actually in this space. The key takeaway is the UK's role and leadership as we go into 2023. What will the UK regulators, stakeholders of various uh, part private sector as well as public sector do to work together to ensure the promulgation of digital assets and innovation for the UK? It's been really great to be here at the annual summit talking about all things uh, digital assets and in particular from my perspective thinking about what's happening in the world of policy and, and regulation. I think my key takeaway from the discussions today has been really about how those countries that haven't moved yet in terms of setting a clear regulatory framework for digital assets really have an opportunity to do so, but also that there's almost an obligation to do so, that sort of sitting around uh, to continue to wait while the industry continues to grow and develop isn't really a sensible option for, for any country around the world. So we're really looking forward to see as we move forward into 2023 more countries actually take that step and put in place a holistic framework. ESG, uh, real estate, uh, debt finance, securities offerings, it's really amazing to listen to all of the opportunities um, that we're seeing explored in this space. The biggest takeaway is the need for global regulatory alignment when it comes to regulating crypto assets. It's a borderless technology and it was apparent in our, in our wrap up of each of the jurisdictions that the consistent themes that went across each of the offices and the need to make sure that we address this in a consistent manner across all of them. I am really excited today because we have so many different jurisdictions phoning in to take their different perspectives on crypto and regulation. So we have Milan, we have Washington, Hong Kong, Paris, Brussels, everyone coming with their own perspectives and allowing this global harmonization of regulation. It's mostly about you know, the panel where we talked about digitization of private markets and specifically about a group of about 80 financial institutions that we brought together to interconnect and enable trade of uh, digital, digital private securities between them uh, across different platforms, across different uh, uh, institutions and to create a global digital market uh, with liquidity and uh, uh, leverage and, and all the nice things we were expecting from digital. So that was uh, uh, basically the highlight of the day for me.